you can draw her in Procreate. It seems you really enjoyed the last character you can draw this, so let's do it again. Let's create another character. I saw so many lovely results on Instagram and it's really great because every character has its own character. So keep sharing your results. Don't forget that if you reach the end of this video to share your results on Instagram, tag me in the image, not just in the description. And that way I will be able to find it and perhaps we'll see it in the next video. And don't you worry, I will guide you through every single step again. You can do this. We will be using free brushes only and you don't need any experience with Procreate or with drawing at all. The canvas we'll be using is 2300 pixels by 3000 pixels and I have the color profile set to sRGB. And I have created a color palette for you which you can download for free through the link in the description. The first thing we are going to do is we'll go to the layer menu, the two little squares, we'll click background color and we will pick this first color so that our background is not scary white anymore. Then we'll go to layer one and for our brush, we will use the monoline brush. And for the color, we will use this second color in the color palette. I have the opacity of the brush at 100% and let's set the size at, well, let's say 15% and let's draw a circle. Draw a circle, hold your pen in place and you can tap one finger on the screen to make it snap to a perfectly round circle. Then let's drag in the color to fill our shape. And now let's make sure that our circle is in the center. And I also want to make it a little bit smaller. Let's go to the arrow here at the top. Make sure you have it set to uniform and go to snapping and turn on snapping if it's not turned on already. Now let's make the circle a little bit smaller. Let's place it in the center of our canvas. You can see by these orange lines, the vertical and horizontal line, then you'll know that you are in the center of your canvas. The next thing we'll do is we'll go to the wrench and we are going to canvas and we'll turn on the drawing guide. Then go to edit drawing guide and turn on symmetry here at the bottom. And here by using the slider, you can set the line to your favorite color. I don't really care about the color. Let's go for like a pink and then click done. Now we are going to use the liquify tool. We can do that by going to the magic wand here and then pick liquify. Now, since we are using the symmetry tool, since we have that symmetry line and symmetry is turned on for this layer, whatever we liquify on the left will also liquify on the right and the other way around. Make sure that you have your liquify set to push and that you have distortion and momentum turned off. I have pressure set to max and you can play around with the size of your brush. For instance, you can set it to 70% and let's squish the top of the head a little bit because yes, this circle, it's a head or it'll become a head. So first we'll make it a bit more squished. We'll push the sides a bit and we'll drag a little bit here, making these little like cheeks. So you can imagine that these are these rounded cheeks and here we have a little chin. So try going for a shape that looks like this. Then we'll go to the brush again. Just click the brush and let's add two ears. We'll place them pretty low. Let's start about here and then make a semicircle going down and then drag in the color to fill the ears. The next thing we'll do is add the eyes. We'll do that on a new layer. So let's go to the layer menu, click the plus, but do make sure that you turn on drawing assist. If you look at layer one, you can see that it's assisted and that means that symmetry is turned on on that layer. And we want that to happen on layer two as well. So click the layer and turn on drawing assist. Now, whatever we draw on one side will also show up on the other side. Now for our color, let's pick this one over here, that fifth color, that white, and let's draw a circle on one side. Let's start about here, draw a circle, hold your pen in place and tap one finger on the screen and make it about this big and then go to edit shape so you can move the eyes around. I want to place them about here. Making these eyes nice and big will make our character look extra cute. Now let's drag in the color to fill both the eyes at the same time. 
Next, we'll add an iris and also a pupil. Let's make a new layer by clicking the plus again. Make sure that you turn on drawing assist. And for our color, let's pick this one over here. That's the sixth color. And let's draw a circle that's smaller than the white circle that we just created. Hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen and go to edit shape again to be able to move the circle around. Let's place it about here and then drag in the color to fill the shape. All right, next shape. Let's go and create a new layer again. Let's click the plus, click the layer, turn on drawing assist. And now we can draw the pupils by using this color, the seventh one. And we'll make a circle that's even smaller than the one we just created. Hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen to make it snap. Then you can go to edit shape, move it around if it's needed. Place it at the top here and then drag in the color to fill it. Now I feel like it's already starting to look pretty cute. Let's create another layer. Let's click the plus again. And let's grab this fifth color again, that white. And this time we won't be turning on drawing assist because I want to add a little highlight to the eyes and I don't want them to be, well, like symmetrical. I want them to be on the left side here and I want it to be on the left side here as well. Otherwise it will look weird. All right, so let's make a circle, a small one, hold your pen in place, tap one finger on a screen for a perfectly round circle. And you can use edit shape again to move it around. Let's place it about here, drag in the color. And now we are going to duplicate it so we can place it on the other eye as well. You can do that by swiping down with three fingers and using duplicate. Now we can drag it to the left. While you have snapping turned on, you can see these blue lines. So you will know it's at the right height. Let's place it here and click the arrow again to get out of the menu. And then let's merge these two layers by pinching them together. Now I want to add some details to the face. Let's create a new layer again by clicking the plus and let's turn on drawing assist again. And for our color, we are going to use this color over here, that fourth color. And we are going to pick another brush. We are going to use one of the brushes that is in the treasure chest. We are going to use the fine liner brush. Remember, you can get my free brushes by going to freefromflow.com or if you are already subscribed to the weekly newsletter, then just follow the link in the newsletter. Now the brush opacity is at 100% and let's make the brush a little bit bigger. Let's go for 20%. Let's create a little shape in the ear. First a semicircle and then up like this for a simple little ear shape. Now let's create the nose. Let's do that by starting here and then go to the center line to create this semicircle. Then let's create the lips, the mouth. We'll do that by using this color over here, that reddish color. And let's turn off drawing assist on the layer. I don't want any symmetry anymore. Let's click it, turn off drawing assist. Now let's make the brush just a little bit bigger. Let's go for 40% and we are going to make three circles. Let's start here. We'll make it just a little bit, a little bit bigger, a little bit wider than the nose. Two circles right next to each other. And then another one underneath. So it's a bit, it's a bit like a simple flower shape. Now we'll go back to that color that we just used, that fourth color over here. Let's make the brush a bit smaller again, 20%. And now we are going to add these lines for the mouth. Follow these circles, we'll go down here, and here we have the corner of the mouth. And you can add a little bit of thickness here to the center. until it looks a bit like this. Then we can add some little highlights to the lips. Let's grab this color for that. And let's add a little highlight here at the top. Just a little semicircle and a little highlight on that lower lip here. 
Next, let's add some lashes to the eyes. We'll create a new layer for that. Now, in case you tend to run out of layers quickly, you can actually just merge these eye layers all together. And then let's create a new layer on top and let's set it to drawing assist. So we have symmetry turned on again. And for the color, we are going to grab this seventh color over here. Now let's make the brush a little bit smaller. Let's go for 8% and then let's start about here. And let's follow the line of the eye. You might need to zoom in a little bit. And you might also want to rotate your canvas to make it easier on yourself. We can make the line a little bit thicker here at the top. It can touch the pupil that dark area and let's cover the white here rotate it again just follow that white of the eye and make it a bit thicker here now we are going to follow the circle almost all the way around Luckily, you only have to do this once since we have symmetry turned on. Let's follow the circle. Doesn't have to be perfect and no worries. If you make wobbly lines, you can always just undo. But it's actually, it's a nice, it's a nice exercise to get a more steady hand. Let's go all the way to, to about here. So this area will stay, stay white. And here we have that nice darker line. And in some areas you can make it a bit thicker around the upper part. And here as well, we can cover the iris a little bit. And then let's add the lashes. We'll add a couple of small ones here at the bottom. Just three. And then we'll add some bigger ones here. Let's start here and make a curly shape towards the outside. Then a bit shorter one on top. Again, a curvy shape, a curved shape. And you can make it a bit thicker near the base, near the eye, and thinner as you move outwards. And some smaller ones here. And now let's make the brush a little bit bigger to create some eyebrows. Let's go for a 30%. And let's place these short, pretty small eyebrows here like that now let's add some hair let me zoom out a little bit let's create a new layer for the hair we'll go to the top layer we'll click the plus and let's turn on symmetry click the layer turn on drawing assist i'm going to make the brush just a little bit smaller i'll go for 20 percent and let's start here near the ear and let's make a little bit of a wobbly line following the skull all the way to the center. And then we'll go along this area. Let's make another wobbly line going upwards. Make some wobbles a bit bigger, one a bit smaller. We'll go close to the eyebrows and we'll wobble our way to the center line. You can adjust it a little bit, add some wobbles or add some smaller ones. And then you can drag the color into the shape and you might need to adjust the color drop threshold a bit by dragging to the left or right to get rid of any edges or you can just go along the edge to get rid of it. Now I just want to adjust the top part a little bit. I feel like there's a little bit of a flat area I want it to look more like this. Now we are going to add more hair on a layer underneath the face. 
first click the plus for a new layer and then drag it all the way to the bottom. And let's turn on drawing assist again. And you know what? Let's turn off that center line that we are seeing. Let's go to the wrench, turn off the drawing guide. Now we can't see it anymore, but still assisted is turned off for the layer so we can still use symmetry. Now I actually also realized that I wanted to use a different color for the hair. But we can easily fix that. Let's go back to layer 5. Let's pick this color over here right next to the very dark one. It's a little bit lighter. And let's just drag it onto the shape. And it's fixed. Now let's go back to layer 6 that we just created underneath all the other layers. And we'll still be using this color. Now let's go and grab a new brush that I have added to the treasure chest. It's the small curls brush. It's a brush that is great to create small curls. The opacity is set to 100% and the size is at 17%. And now let's create these cute buns. Let's just make these circular motions here. And you want to create a couple of passes because the brush is a little bit transparent. And you can slowly build up these buns this way. They look nice and fluffy. You can go even a little bit bigger. Now let's add some extra touches to the hair. We are going to create a new layer on top of layer 5. So we'll click the plus again. And we are going to set this new layer to clipping mask. Now whatever we paint on this new layer 7, it'll only show up on the hair that is on layer 5. And we are going to change the layer blending mode on this layer. We'll click the N and we'll scroll up to multiply. Now we can still use the same color, that same hair color. But when we paint on this layer, it'll appear darker. Because multiply, it is great to add shadow and darker areas. For the brush, we are going back to the fine liner brush. And let's not forget to turn on drawing assist on this layer. And we are going to add some wobbly lines like this, moving to the bun. Now I hope that it's visible on camera. If it's not, then you'll just have to believe me. Start near the hairline and then make these wobbly lines towards the bun. And here we'll start near that center line, imaginary center line, and make wobbles towards those buns. Now we are going to do the same on the buns. So let's go to the buns layer, layer 6. Let's click the plus for a new layer. Again, let's use clipping mask. And let's set the layer blending mode to multiply. And now we are going over the buns and we are going to make rounded shapes from like the start of the bun to the outside. So wobble, wobble, wobble to the outer part. Make rounded shapes. Here we'll make a pretty straight shape, still wobbly. And then we'll make another rounded shape, but the other way around. Imagine that it's a ball and imagine that you have forgot to turn on drawing assist on this layer. So now we only have the wobbles on this one. Now you can either just not forget to turn on drawing assist or you can duplicate this area, flip it to the other side, or you can just draw this part by hand. You know what? I'm just going to draw it in by hand so we can do the same process all over again. Rounded wobbly shape to the top. And of course it'll give some variation to our character. You can also start at the top and go to the bottom area. Just follow that rounded shape. Next, I would like to give our character glasses. Let's create a new layer for that on top of the others. Again, if you tend to run out of layers quickly on your iPad, you can just merge all the layers right now and then create a new one on top. But I'll keep all of these, make a new layer. Let's turn on drawing assist again. Let's not forget this time. And for the color, we will pick this orange color over here. And for the brush, let's use the monoline brush again. We'll go to calligraphy and use the monoline. 
The opacity of the brush is at 100% and let's set the size to 50%. And now let's create a circle around the eye. Hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen for a perfectly round circle. And then you can go to edit shape to move it around. Let's place it around here. And then you can just click the brush to get out of that menu. Now we'll create a new layer underneath our glasses layer. Click layer seven, then the plus. Let's turn on drawing assist again. And then let's add a little shape over here, just above the ear. And let's add a little shape here. Hold your pen in place and then tap one finger on the screen to make it snap to a perfectly horizontal line. Then another one. And let's close it like this. Now I want these glasses to look nice and shiny. Let's go to layer nine. Let's turn off drawing assist and let's turn on alpha lock. Now, whatever we paint on this layer, it'll only show up on the circles and not on that checkerboard area. Let's grab another brush. Let's go to the airbrushing brushes and use the soft brush. And for our color, let's grab this dark color first. Now let's set the opacity to 80% and let's set the size to 3%. And now let's darken this lower area here in the lower right and in the upper left here. And let's do the same on this side. We'll darken this area and this area in the upper left. And I will grab another color. Let's grab the yellow third color first. And let's go over these areas. I'm just going over the entire glasses right now with diagonal strokes and on this side as well. But I'm making sure that we still have some orange in between. Then we'll switch to this very light color, that fourth color. And let's add a little shine here. And on this side, a very bright spot. And here as well. And on the lower left here. And now we can go to the magic wand, pick Gaussian blur, set it to layer, and drag your pen to the right to blur it a bit. Let's go for 10% and then click the magic wand again. We can actually follow the same process on layer 10. Let's turn off drawing assist, turn on alpha lock. And now let's just add first, well, let's first add some dark areas just along the edge here and on this side and right here along the edges. And then let's grab Let's grab this light color immediately and go over the center area here and on the outer edge here. And then we can blur it again by going to the magic wand, pick Gaussian blur, set it to layer and drag your pen to the right. Now let's go for, well, let's go for eight and a half percent and click the magic wand again. Now I would like to add glasses to our glasses. Let's create a new layer underneath layer 10. So first click layer seven, then click the plus and then click layer nine. That's the circles. Click it and then turn on reference. Now we can go back to this layer, layer 11. We can pick that pink. And while that layer nine is set to reference, we can actually fill those shapes on this layer. And once we have done so, don't forget to go to layer nine and turn off reference again. Then we'll go to layer 11 and we are going to set the layer blending mode to add. And we are going to lower the opacity to around 35%. And now she has these nice pink glasses. Now we are going to select all of these layers or you can merge all of the layers if you would like to but then you can't change anything on the layers anymore. Let's let's just select all of them, then click group, then close the group. And now we are going to rotate the, the entire head a little bit. So we'll go to the arrow, 
Let's make the head just a little bit smaller so we have some space. Make sure that you have it set to uniform though. And then use this green handle to rotate the head just slightly until it's tilted like this. And then click the arrow again to get out of the menu. Now we are going to work on the body. First, let's make a new layer. Let's click the plus and let's place it underneath the head. And for the color, we are going to use this color over here, that third color. And for the brush, let's use the fineliner brush in the Free From Flow treasure chest pack. And now let's just create a semicircle just underneath the mouth. Just color it in by hand. Make a semicircle like this. Next, we are going to create a new layer underneath this layer. So again, click the plus for a new layer, drag it underneath. And for the color, let's pick this color, that first blue color. And now we are going to make a shape underneath the neck. We'll start about here. Make a rounded shape. And go back up and close it behind the character. Then drag in the color to fill the shape. Now, if you like, you can actually make it a bit bigger. You can adjust it. Don't make it too small. Something like this is perfect. Now we'll create a new layer on top and we will use this color over here. It's a slightly darker blue. And we are going to draw an arm here. We'll start about here, make a rounded shape, then go back up right in front of that shirt. And you can drag in the color to fill the shape. Then we'll make a new layer underneath layer 14. So first click the plus, drag that new layer underneath. And we'll make another arm over here. Go down here, make a rounded shape at the bottom, then go back up to close the shape. Now at this point, you might need to adjust the arms a little bit. Make these, this one a little bit bigger and I'll go back to layer 15. Make this one a little bit longer. So that the two arms will actually match. Now we'll create a new layer underneath these blue layers. So again, click the plus, drag the layer underneath and let's pick this color, the same color that we used for the face. And let's add two hands. We are going to keep it really simple. We are just going to make like these mit mitten shapes. Very simple hands on this one as well, a thumb and then a semicircle to create these hands. Now for the legs, let's create a new layer by clicking the plus and let's start with this color over here. And let's start about here, make a rounded shape here at the bottom. So you have something like this. Then we'll grab the other color, that lighter one over here. And we'll do the same thing starting at the center of the belly Make this rounded shape and go back up. Close the shape so you can fill it. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Let's grab that dark color. Make sure that behind here that the shape is closed and then drag in the color. Now for the feet, we'll create a new layer again by clicking the plus and I want this layer to be underneath those pants. And we'll grab this color over here. That pretty light gray. And again, we'll make very simple shapes. Just these rounded shapes. You can color it in by hand. And on this side as well. Just a little foot. Now let's add some extra touches. First, let's go to layer 14 over here. Let's set it to alpha lock so we won't be able to paint outside of the shape. And let's grab this light blue. And I'll start right here around the neck and then go down and on this side as well. And then color it in. Turning that blue shirt into a jacket. And now at this point, we can actually 
merge these clothing layers of the shirt 15 14 and 16 let's merge them together and let's grab this fourth color over here now i want to make the brush a little bit smaller let's go for 10 percent and let's add these lines to the clothing we'll add a little color here And on this side as well and we'll follow this line all the way down we'll make an outline here and a little outline here then we'll make an extra line over here and on this side as well and then we'll make these short lines going down Let's also add two pockets by making these diagonal lines. And let's add a little outline to the pants. We'll follow the outline all the way down and on this side as well. And now for a little extra touch on the shoes, we'll go to the shoes layer. Let's turn on alpha lock just to be sure. And let's grab this light color over here. Now on each shoe, we'll add some shoelaces by just making these little lines. Keep it simple. And we can add a little light line around the ankle. Now there's one more thing I'd like to do. I'd like to add a drop shadow. Now to do that, I'm going to group all the layers together. So also this group, I'll group it in the group. So select them all, click group. And now I'm going to duplicate the group. But in case you are getting into trouble with the amount of layers, then you can also flatten the entire group before you duplicate it. This means you won't be able to change anything on the layers anymore though. So if you still want to be able to make those changes, then I would suggest duplicating your entire canvas in the gallery actually. And then on a duplicate project, you can just flatten your group before duplicating it. I'm just going to duplicate the group and then I'll click that group and I'll select flatten. Now I will drag this layer underneath the group, then I'll click it and turn on alpha lock. Now we are going to pick this color over here, that dark color, then go back to the layer menu, click that layer and turn fill layer on. Now our entire character is completely dark on this layer. Then let's turn off alpha lock again. And we are going to use this layer to make our shadow. First, we are going to transform this layer. We'll do that by going to the arrow at the top here and then pick this distort here at the bottom. Now we are going to make it flat first and drag it to the right. We are going to add some perspective. Drag the handles, just make sure that the feet are still attached, well, to the feet. So don't make them go outside or don't have the feet like here. This is not a proper shadow. The shadow should be attached to the character. So it should be something like this. You can play around with the angle here. Just make sure that the feet are attached. Then you can click the arrow. And now let's lower the opacity of this layer. Let's click the N, then drag the slider to the right. And let's go for 35%. And now I want to blur a part of the shadow. Now the shadow will look more blurry as it moves away from the character and it will look more crisp near the feet of the character. So we'll blur this area more than the area near the character. We can do that by going to the magic wand, then picking Gaussian blur and then picking pencil. Now we can click this magical pencil here and we can use the soft brush. Let's go to airbrushing, pick the soft brush. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's go for 14%. And let's go over this area blurring that but blurring 
that area more than the area near the feet. Once you have done that, you can use your finger to increase and decrease the blur. I'll go for 54.6% and then you can just click the magic wand again. And of course you can still play around with the opacity by clicking the end. You can make it darker or lighter. I think I'll go for 30%. And now you have created a cool little character. Let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial and if you would like me to create more character tutorials. And don't forget that you can support this channel by leaving a comment, hitting that thumbs up, subscribing of course. And if you want to do even more, then you can go look me up at Patreon. And there you won't just get a whole lot of brushes, but also a lot more Procreate tutorials. I want to thank you for watching and I will see you next time for the next You Can Draw This video tutorial.